Ciao friends! In this video I want to talk about the differences between using int and convert in order to transform an expression into an integer value index. Sometimes uh, we, I mean, we should expect the same behavior, but in reality there are side cases, uh, uh, edge cases, where the, there is some difference in uh, these two expressions and we want to understand when this difference could impact the correctness of the result of our expression. So let's start with the demo. So in this example, we have uh, a table that initially has uh, only three columns, test ID, test quantity, and test amount. And by using add columns, we are adding two columns, test convert and test int, where we perform the multiplication between quantity and amount using a conversion of the amount value. Now, the amount value that you see in this column originally has a decimal part. And the data type of the amount column is a fixed decimal number in Power BI, which is called a currency data type index. Indeed, if we look at the query that we used to uh, generate this calculation, we created a temporary table where we used for amount, for the amount column, the currency data type. Remember, currency corresponds to fixed decimal number in Power BI. Now, because we have this decimal part in this number, for some reason we want to ignore that decimal part in the calculation. And we want to perform the multiplication between quantity, this column, and amount, this column, ignoring the decimal part. So in order to obtain the, the integer value of uh, the, the test amount column, we use two different approaches. In this case, test int, we use the int function, in this case, we use the convert function that converts an expression into a different data type. Now, the test amount is a decimal number, so we would expect the same result in these uh, calculations. But as you see from the result here, the result is different in the last case. So for, for the first the two rows, A and B, we have the number, the resulting number, is ignoring the decimal part, this part, and is performing the multiplication between test quantity and test amount. We have 5 billions multiplied by 100,000. We have 500 trillions, probably. Now, what happens when the number becomes big? Well, in this case, you see that when I'm using test int, I get a wrong number. It's a negative number. It's clearly not correct. So why is this happening? Well, the reason is the following. While these two functions, convert and int, obtain the same result, an integer value, in reality, in terms of the data time return, there could be some difference. Convert is a function that guarantees that the result is represented as an integer value. Whereas int changes the expression value, so it removes the decimal part, but the result is returned using the same data type of the initial expression if the expression was an integer or a currency data type. The currency data type, remember, correspond to the fixed decimal number. In case you, we had a double, a floating point number, a decimal number in Power BI, then the result of int will be an integer data type, which is the whole number in Power BI. Now, this small difference can create a big problem because, because test amount is a currency data type, the currency data type is not able to represent the result of the multiplication. Now, the currency data type is still able to represent this number without the decimal part. This is true, but when we multiply this value that now is a currency data type by an integer value, which is here, what we get is a number in which data type. And is this data type able to represent the final result? This is the difference between these two calculations. In case of convert int, we have an integer that is multiplied by an integer. And if we take a look at the table that describes the resulting data type of a product of the multiplication between two values, an integer multiplied by an integer returns an integer. And the integer value is able to represent this huge number, which is uh, one millions of billions of uh, something. Whereas when we have an integer value, the quantity, and a currency data type, the 
result of in test amount, we have this other situation where the multiplication of an integer by a currency data type retards a currency. And what is the problem here? Well, the problem is that the currency data type cannot represent this huge number. This number, 1 million of billions, is larger than the maximum value that we can represent in a fixed decimal number in a currency data type. And because internally it is stored as an integer uh, multiplied by 10,000 compared to the initial value, what we get is a negative number because the internal representation uh, becomes a negative number. There is no error, no overflow error in this case, which is another scary thing. And so you have to pay attention to this small difference in case you manipulate large numbers and you have conversions using uh, um, this, uh, uh, this function, convert or int, that could produce different number. Because integer can represent numbers that are 10,000 times bigger than the numbers that you can represent with a currency data type, this number still fits into an integer. Now, possible solution. So you say, Marco, how can I fix this problem? Well, there are many different things you can do. But for example, if the initial column had been a floating point value, which is represented as double, this corresponds to the decimal number in a Power BI. If I run this code now, you see that the number is the same. Because in this case, in is converting a floating point number into an integer number. Because the floating point number is converted into an integer value, we have an integer multiplied by an integer, which is exactly the same behavior we have seen in the convert uh, case that we have seen for the test convert uh, example. So the outcome is that we have to pay attention to the functions we use to convert numbers into integers. Of course, the convert function is probably a safer way. It's just a little bit faster, but in reality, it's a function that didn't exist at the beginning, in the first releases of DAX, and this is the reason why we have so many lines of code that still rely on int. To be honest, most of the times int doesn't generate any issue. If you don't have these large numbers, probably it is not a big problem. And it also depends on the data type of the initial expression. If you use decimal numbers, you don't have any problem. For fixed decimal number, you have to pay special attention. Enjoy DAX. Mm -hmm.